Hey everyone, Caleb from Stay Lake Norman here. We are the best in class when it comes to vacation rentals on Lake Norman, and we want to bring you the best in class. So I'm sitting down with the best in the area, where to eat, what to drink, and how to play on Lake Norman. Let's get to it. All right, you know what time it is. Time for another episode of the Lake Norman Experience Podcast. I'm sitting here with Linda, the COO and managing partner of the Cambridge Hospitality Group. We'll get to what exactly that is here in just a second. But Linda, I always like to start the conversation with asking everybody, what's your favorite thing about Lake Norman? I mean, that's an easy answer. It's literally, it, it is Lake Norman. Um, I've only been here for about a year and I find that I'm always trying to find activities to do on and around the water here. Absolutely. I mean, well, I mean, when you live in Lake Norman, like you have to love the lake. <laughs> yeah. And it, I find myself daydreaming of the water all the time. <laughs> so it, it sounds like we're very similar in that way. It's, yes. it's, get me on the water and I'll be happy. Yeah. Um, but, you know, when you're not on the water, you're you know managing Cambridge Hospitality Group. And we're sitting here at Peninsula Prime this brand new updated outdoor deck that you guys can see behind me if you're watching. But tell me a little bit more about what exactly Cambridge Hospitality Group does. So we are a locally owned hospitality company. It's myself and two other partners, Jim Gordon and Brad Bennett. We all live here in the Cornelius area. And really our main goal is to bring experiences to the community, whether they're at the live music venue across the street, the sports pub across the street, or whether it's more of a special event, fine dining experience here. Uh, what we're really just trying to do is bring experiences to the community that they're going to enjoy. Absolutely, I love that. And, and I've been to Peninsula Prime, so I know how amazing it is and how amazing the food is and just the atmosphere, especially on this new back deck where it gets going and, and people enjoy themselves. Um, so we know about Peninsula Prime, what makes this place so special? Um, first and foremost, I would start with the staff. Our executive chef, Brian Naylor, works tirelessly to source as many products locally from farms in the area that we can. Mm -hmm. um, Carolina Freedom Farm is where we get our microgreens. Small City Farm is a female-owned and operated farm where we get a lot of our salad greens. So he spends a lot of time cultivating those relationships. Mm -hmm. Uh, so definitely the staff, especially Chef Brian, is what I would say makes this place absolutely special. Yeah, when you have, an, when you have a great staff, it, it's really easy to know that everybody who comes there is going to be taken care of. Exactly. I mean, that's how we felt when we came. You know, my wife and I had a date night here, and it's just like, whatever you needed, it was just like someone was almost ready for you to ask what you needed, and then they were there in a minute for you. So um, totally understand that. Now, go ahead and hit me with uh, the other two places that you all manage. What, what exactly are those? So that would be, we like to say that we keep it on Catawba here. Mm -hmm. So everything that we own and operate is within a stone's throw of one another. Gotcha. So across the street, we have Jack's Corner Tap, which is a family friendly sports themed pub with classic, great sports themed food, great beer, great burgers. Burger night is insane at Jack's <laughs> on Thursdays. And then we have um, really one of the hottest live music venues in the area, the Tropicana. And that pulls in some pretty big acts that we're very proud to feature. We get some nice sized crowds in there. And that's just a great place to go, be extremely casual, have a great night, and that's open till 2 a.m. Oh. So we have something that caters to a little bit of everybody. Yeah, I love that. So you're telling me that I could come here and have one of the best steaks and seafood meals ever in the area. I could go over and have a beer at a great sports bar yes. and maybe watch some sports. And then I could end the night with some live music and never have to get in my car. <laughs> Actually, yes. All right. So I know my next date night with my wife because we'll just go in step one, two, yeah. three. Um, that sounds amazing. Now, if anybody out there, whether locally or they're traveling to the area and they want to know if there is a live event going or if it's burger night, right? Yeah. What's the best way for them to find that out? 
We are extremely active on social media. So we have people in-house that is always taking TikToks, Reels, mm -hmm. photos, videos, and that's constantly being uploaded. Especially at TRAP, oftentimes you'll find that they go live mm -hmm. when there's a band playing, so you can kind of feel like you're there if for yeah. some reason you're not. So anywhere on our Instagram or Facebook pages are the best place to find us. They're updated multiple times a day. Perfect. Well, we'll link that in the show notes. So if you're listening, you can find it. If you're watching, um, we'll make sure that we put it in the description there so you can find it all. And trust me, it, if you're not into the fine dining, that's fine. They've got something for everyone. And if you are into a beautiful outdoor setting, like I said, they just renovated this outdoor space at Peninsula Prime and it's stunning. You guys want to make sure you check out Cambridge, Cambridge Hop Hospitality Group and come enjoy Cornelius. Hey everyone, thank you so much for tuning in to this episode of the Lake Norman Experience. Make sure you don't miss another one, so be sure to follow and subscribe to our YouTube channel at Stay Lake Norman, and make sure to follow us and subscribe to the Lake Norman Experience wherever you get your podcasts.